Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Rodriguez and welcome to the world of... Hi everybody, I'm Matthew Rodriguez and welcome to the world of... God, you know what, this is not, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's our first episode, it needs to be special. I got an idea. There, that's more like it. Welcome to the world of... My name is Matthew Rodriguez, and if you're a big Cirque du Soleil fan, you may recognize me from the red carpet where I've introduced celebrities to the world of Cirque. As a huge Cirque du Soleil fan myself, I'm so excited to welcome you behind the curtain into a world that not many people get to see and find out what makes Cirque du Soleil shows unlike anything else. Each week, we're gonna get a closer look at one of the Cirque du Soleil's 17 shows that stretch from Las Vegas to Tokyo and every city in between, up around the world, we're everywhere. We are gonna be giving you a new video every week, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. For today's episode, we welcome you to set sail on a mystical island adventure in Amaluna. So this is one of the props from Amaluna. Like this, let's see. Oh, fits like a glove, y'all. Look at this. Amaluna invites the audience to a mysterious island governed by goddesses and guided by the cycles of the moon. Their queen, Prospera, directs her daughter's coming of age ceremony in a rite that honors femininity, renewal, rebirth, and balance, which marks the passing of these insights and values from one generation to the next. This is what I like about this show. It's about women. Women rocking it, women just doing it. All right, sorry men, you got your other shows. In the wake of a storm caused by Prospera, a group of young men lands on the island, triggering an epic emotional story of love between Prospera's daughter and a brave young suitor. But theirs is a love that will be put to the test. The couple must face numerous demanding trials and overcome daunting setbacks before they can achieve mutual trust, faith, and harmony. Guess what? We have a special guest star from the show. This is the guest star. We couldn't afford like a real, one of the actors, one of the people in the show. This is all we got. This is funny, this is our first episode. These are, these are the guests that we have. Today we have a very special guest, the makeup designer from Amaluna. Let's go. Hi, welcome. Thanks for coming on. So tell us, what was your inspiration for this show? Uh, so, Amaluna is a show about internal power, the strength of, of women. As we are on a mystical island inhabited by women, I thought one way of showing that inner strength was with tattoos. Mm -hmm. So for this makeup, which is uh, the Valkyrie straps uh, number, the women fly above the stage and even over the audience. So I thought, hmm, let's make them like birds. The tattoo gives them a certain strength. And each tattoo represents a different tribe within yeah. the show. So this is the Valkyrie, the, even the musicians, it's a girl band, and they each have their own tattoo on the side of the face. Now, will you do this makeup for me every day? If you want me to. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, how long does it typically take for the stars of Amaluna to put on their makeup? It takes, I would say, about 45 minutes. That's not long at all. It's not that. I pictured it to I'm be sure much longer. I'm sure they can do it even faster. The tattoo gets airbrushed on them, so they don't have to do it. Okay. They but go get their hair braided and prepped, and then they finish their makeup. This is what's so surprising mm -hmm. to me. I pictured a bunch of makeup artists backstage, yeah. but that's not the case. It's not the case. Everybody thinks that there's makeup artists, but these performers learn how to do the makeup. And often, when I have to go back on the shows, I ask them to do the makeup because they're faster and sometimes better than me. Wow. And I will do small touch-ups if it's if it's not perfect. So now they've learned how to do makeup, you need to learn how to do some of the tricks like dangle from the ceiling. I from tried. A thousand feet. I you tried. <laughs> I tried but there's no hope. Let's do the splits. Come oh, on. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you for the wonderful makeup. Yes. Now it's time for a little segment we like to call fun facts. Transition, transition graphics. This is the very first time the uneven bars have been featured in a Cirque du Soleil show. What? 
How is that even possible? How are they not in every show? They're uneven, that's so cool. These guys. Amaluna is the only Cirque show with a predominantly female cast and an all female band. Go women! Women rock! The carousel is 42 feet up in the air and weighs approximately 9,000 pounds. So if that thing falls, the revolving stage can support a total of 35,250 pounds, which is basically one of my thighs. One of our favorite acts is the water bowl act. This is literally someone doing acrobatics while in a large water bowl. Yeah. We do that. The bowl weighs 8,000 pounds and holds between 1,500 to 1,900 liters of water. That's a lot of water. So wait a minute, this girl is like sitting in a jacuzzi and she's getting paid for this? That's what's happening? Okay. Can I get that job? Let's take a look. Hey guys, guess what? We're all done. Thanks for watching this week's episode of The World Of. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch us next week where we open a box of tricks with Kuza. Comment below to let us know what you thought of the very first episode. Have you seen Amaluna? What was your favorite part? Tell me all about it. And if you didn't get to see it, what is the most interesting fact that you discovered in this show? Let me know. Okay, that's it. I'm Matthew Rodriguez. Thanks for subscribing to Cirque du Soleil. Bye, see you next week. You're gonna come back, right? Come on. I'll show you all my new costumes. Want me to get in tights? I'll do it, if you'll watch. Oh, shit, that thing's dangerous. Oh my God. Come here, come here, where is it? Click here to see more from Amaluna, or click here to see the complete playlist of the World of series. There are even more awesome playlists and more about this episode in the description below right below my tattoo. Look below my tattoo, see that? That's called the description, and that's where all the info is.